Welcome aboard the Articulate Line. Please, I invite you to try a 33-year-old Macallan and one of our freshly made truffles. The white in the powdered coconut is a double cream rouleau truffle. In the gold foil is our chef's mock-up of a Frere Rocher, but with a luxurious twist, quite naturally. It's added a little bit of cardamom, which might seem strange, but yes, is really quite beautiful. Welcome again to the King's Suite. Our, we actually call it, and has traditionally been called, the King's Corridor. And now that we've taken your bags, your vacation, your trip away, and your relaxation, starts here. Now, it was lovingly named the King's Corridor, because as you will have noticed, as you were boarding the train, the king's cabin sits at the very, very end of the train. And the reason it was coined King's Corridor was because the cabin is actually so wide and such a large surface space that there was no room to run an adjacent corridor. So you literally have to be the very last carriage because there's no way around it. And as part of our articulate line, I would like to think that luxury combined with the effortless relaxation is the very core of our business approach, our customer care and customer satisfaction quite literally second to none. Now my name is Matt. I will be your personal concierge while you're on board with us. It's my absolute desire to make sure that each and every one of your cares is taken care of. Now we have similar to our articulate hotel brand we have a different take on all-inclusive we like to call it beyond all-inclusive meaning that if there's something that you want to eat or to drink or something that you'd like to see something that you would really like to taste we will have it arranged for you. I am your personal butler. I am serving no other cabin on my time. I am assigned specifically to the royal suite and therefore to you. Yes, now it is customary for us to provide a gift of sorts to our most premium customers. And the King's Corridor is about as premium as it could ever be. So, with this in mind, we would like to offer you one of, or rather, the first of three gifts. And it might seem a little small, and perhaps even insignificant. These were a result of a customer survey. And customer feedback is paramount. It's the cornerstone of our business. We used to provide the over-ear headphones to our customers. And many were finding that sleeping in these were a little bit challenging. It was great for walking around the cabin and reading. But 
many people like to sleep while listening to something. I want you to listen to consideration. So I introduce you rather proudly, I must say, to the Bose Sports Headphones. Now these will provide a crystal clear listening experience with a beautiful bass and treble conveying sounds and recreating them as they were intended to be. The battery life is impressive, comfortability unmatched, okay? They've already been assigned to your station and your station of course in time connected to your Okay, we offer complete connectivity. If you have something in your phone you want to listen to, we have it. We have an extensive, extensive library. Movies, films, series, documentaries that can be viewed at your convenience on the ultra widescreen TV. Now, let's chase that McCullen down with just a little bit of hydration to the rest of our gifts to you. Today we'll be offering three waters of which I will introduce to you. The Cornerstone Voss or Voss depending on how your pronunciation sits. Now the Voss water is highly mineralized but makes for an easy drink a refreshing drink and of course highly popularized for its rather sleek attractive container and while Vos water is mineralized Evian or Evian is perhaps the most mineralized water available in the market. It's healthy, it's thirst quenching. And some people don't get over enthusiastic with the water they drink. They'll even drink it from the tap, no issues. And if that's you, perfectly acceptable. But we do cater to a very specific clientele. And with that in mind, we've also flown in the 50-year Arabic Ras al Khaim water. And again, this is a lower mineral content, but a refreshing, refreshing drink. We'll go with the voice, of course. Tried and tested. Would you like ice with the water? No. Okay. Excellent. And your water. And of course, a little napkin. Excellent. Good. How were the troubles? Now we have a gargantuan amount to get through on your time with us. But again, I'd like to re-emphasize everything is to be done at a slow and gradual pace. Nothing is rushed. Your time here is once in a lifetime. Okay? Memorable. affordable in some cases and more importantly we want to make memories for you the time on articulate line should be indescribable but it should be comfortable okay now seamlessly transitioning into comfort 
I provide to you the second gift from us to you. Now this is a unisex traveling bag, courtesy of our partners at Louis Vuitton. And while the bag is, and you can smell the fresh leather. And while the bag is generously pointed and detailed, gold insignia of the Louis Vuitton brand. But we didn't stop there. I said there was three gifts. And the third gift, and if I may be so bold as to open the bag for you, Now it's not on every trip where you can expect to receive something as perhaps unnecessarily ostentatious. But here, here's your three carat diamond that of course is catching the light in the most beautiful way. But I will pop this in here. Now this is a brilliant cut three carat ocean diamond. Comes courtesy of our partners at De Beers. Now we call it an ocean diamond because it has quite literally been found at the bottom of the ocean. Okay. Now De Beers are uh, perhaps unknown to you, but um, the premier diamond wholesaler, the search and recover diamonds from of course mines perhaps most commonly and recently from what's known as crawlers along the ocean bed fascinating industry if you ever find yourself googling it um, it's always a nice little tidbit to drop into conversation that you know a little bit about De Beers and their diamond recovery system now Popping the lid on your water for you. So we have your headphones, your carry bag, and something a little bit sparkly for you as a welcome token, a small token of our appreciation. And of course, you'll be with us for really some time. And what better way to spend it than in the comfort? Okay, now, I will give you a little while to check out your room, and when I return, I'll bring you uh, your personalized Da Vinci 1000 thread count blanket. Now, wishing a blanket is uh, something we have always done, and it's a beautifully ordained garment that I think you're going to like. I'll also be returning to take an order from our loose leaf tea selection that will absolutely blow your mind because our teas are unlike anything you've ever tasted. Okay, but please get comfortable, 
Your luggage has already been delivered and we of course will personally unpack for you while you're dining later today. Is there anything you need in the immediacy? Excellent. Hungry at all? Oh, okay. Of course the uh, loose leaf tea serving will be accompanied by some of our shortbread cookies and All homemade, of course. Oh, wonderful. See you soon. Hello, once again. How are we settling in? Excellent. Well, I'd like to provide you with something that Actually, two things that might assist you in your pursuit of Zen relaxation. I made mention of a GMNC blanket. Now this is beautifully misled you ever so slightly and I said there were three gifts there's actually a couple more everything that we present to you is yours to keep okay and again with that in mind in the interest of uninterrupted deeply comforting relaxation we'd like to also introduce our patented neck massager now the neck massager also incorporates a rather special technology. Now, I need you to give me the benefit of the doubt here and hear me out. If you remember back to, depending on your age, um, there was a health kick, a fad for a little while, of these little pulsating pads that you could put on to your muscles that would send a stimuli to engage the muscles and this was thought to help lose weight. Well, our team has harvested a similar technology, but instead of trying to give you a workout, it's connected to a base neck unit and these little pads will clip the base of your shoulder and will work in conjunction with the silver pressure panels at the back and a very very gentle current will be run through the connectors and for whatever reason I don't understand the science behind it but having them here, 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 and here provides an almost mesmerizing level of relaxation. So you can take a seat in one of these generously appointed chairs. Sit and just let the machine relax you. Again, this is yours to keep and you are going to sleep so well in this. It doesn't have to be used for sleep, but if you want to take a little nap, it's just perfect to sit in a chair with. Put the neck brace on, the paddles attached, and it will just gently rock you.
And while, well, of course, you are on vacation, I think it's important that we're well rested. And vacation shouldn't be exhausting, it should be a restorative process. And we do everything in our power to help to that end. Okay? Now, you may have remembered in reference to our loose leaf tea selection. We work in partnership with Vadim. I can smell the tea from here. of India provide artisan tea and I think you are going to love this <laughs> We have six on offer. And if you would like, I can talk you through all six to help you make an informed choice. Now again, we are in no rush. I'm here to serve you. I am your butler, your concierge. Don't forget it. You need anything, you hit the buzzer. I'll be here anytime, night or day. Okay. So, T number one. I encourage you just to have a little smell through the box here. It's that prominent, even through sealed container, you can smell the aroma. Now these teas are deeply flavored, okay? They're packed full of antioxidants. They're prepared organically. The first is a masala tea. Masala. Now if you were from the UK, you'd be incredulous explaining that a masala is actually a curry of some kind. Masala isn't a curry, it's a flavor. And the masala is infused into the tea leaf and provides a warm, full-bodied flavor. Tea, depending on how it's brewed and of course where it's grown, the soil that it's using, can be generally very low acidity, but the masala is a little higher, so it's full-bodied, full of flavor. Probably my personal favorite, but I would be remiss. I say that with almost everything. The second, this is the turmeric spiced tea. Mm. And that turmeric smell is very present. And this is actually a tisane. And look at those beautiful hues, the yellows and the greens. Turmeric, of course, is used medicinally as well. And there's a long list of restorative benefits and health problems contained within all of these teas, but particularly the turmeric, or turmeric, depending on your pronunciation. I like to cover both bases. <laughs> now, next. This is the spiced black tea. Now the black tea takes on a little note, very little note, 
of licorice. It's not a licorice tea, but given the drying process that it goes through, it's left with a what I would call a licorice or a suggestion of licorice, should I say. It's probably my second most favorite tea, but I am a licorice fan. Or perhaps if you're an aniseed fan. If you're not, I would avoid the black spice tea. But it's very Moorish if you are of the persuasion. Now, similar to the black spice, this is the vanilla masala tea. So again, the masala, masala is quite prevalent in a lot of Indian loose leaf teas. Um, but the overtones here are entirely vanilla. It's culminated and left to sit with a variety of vanilla pods. And it dries naturally in the company of these vanilla pods. So it really is quite a strong, strong vanilla scent, vanilla flavor. Quite creamy, no acidity whatsoever, but a really beautiful, beautiful experience. Now our penultimate tea is actually called Hibiscus. And the hibiscus rush again is a tisane, and you can see the beautiful blacks, crushed oak color. It's going to bring you a, a floral scent to it. If I had to be completely honest, of the six, I think it's my least favorite. Still better than almost any tea I've ever drunk in my life. But its company is uh, overbearing and overwhelming. Still, I think of it as more of a, a quiet profile. If you were taking a seat, looking at uh, scenery passing by, just quietly reflecting, then the hibiscus tea would be the right choice. It's not intrusive in any way. It's subtle. Flowery. I hope that helps. Our last but not least, of course, is our English breakfast tea. This is a black tea. And typically, this has the longest brewing time of all six. The English breakfast tea is probably most famous throughout the world. People don't know they're drinking it, but English black tea makes up a lot of what you find in supermarkets. It's um, a very well-rounded profile, a little bit sweet, um, and really quite easy on the taste buds. What I would say, it's maybe fifth on the list of six for me. Um, I would be, I'm doing it a disservice if I say it's unremarkable, but likely you've tasted black tea before. What I will say is that you won't have tasted black tea like this. And, but I must caution you, I had a, a couple on here about six months ago who uh, actually emailed me recently and said, thank you so much, we had a great time, etc, etc. But I must say that you've ruined black tea for us because black tea back home now just tastes like toilet water. I didn't inquire as to how they knew what toilet water tastes like, but um, I took their word for it. <laughs> now, if you can remember the six, what do you think you are leaning towards? The masala. No? Of, of course. Let's uh, get a serve. Preparation for the tea is actually quite straightforward. It's served in a glass guide here. I'll remove the strainer. 
training system. Now what I will say about team is don't overblow the water. serves about 180 mils. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. So we're going to go ahead and put in two teaspoons. simply pop our tea in. And this will begin to diffuse. You can already begin to smell. for about four minutes and then we'll serve it to you okay and again I think it's something that you're really going to would tea be without some delicious pastries or cookies to eat alongside I present to you a little tasting board and what we have an offer here three freshly made croissants each To the outermost, we have a coconut glaze filled croissant. And when I say croissant, this is the lightest puff pastry you've ever sampled. It's beautiful. One across, we have a chocolate croissant with a double Belgian chocolate reduction. Now, quite often, melted chocolate as a way of tasting something other than melted chocolate. But let me assure you, this is perfection. The third, we have an almond puree as the center. Quite delectable. Quite an interesting flavor profile, actually, the almond puree. Really, uh, chef does wonders. Now, our side and unfortunately duty calls because we don't want this tea steeping for longer than is absolutely necessary. The beautiful honey color. Let me pour that for you. This kind of ruined your experiences for teas because it sets the bar unnecessarily high. But let's assume we're here forever and we can come back and visit as often as we like. And I 
you should finish off your tasting board. I get a little bit enthusiastic sometimes. A homemade shortbread. Now shortbread is probably best known in Scotland. Between walkers and teens. So it's not a bitter rivalry at all, but it's my mother and my father, for example, are at polar ends of the spectrum with this. My dad clearly being correct. I won't divulge which they're uh, which way they're inclined. One across. Now this is a fun little piece. Little chocolate one here. This is actually a take on a chocolate Oreo covered in a Cadbury's chocolate. Chefs like to play around, and they found that Oreos were a very popular cookie, especially among our American friends, and Cadbury's chocolate was always preferred to the Hershey's, Hershey's nonsense. I shouldn't say that. Some people like Hershey's. But they combined the two and came out with this playful little cookie that you have to try, because it's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Tree is yours, please. Help yourself. And if there's anything that you like topping up, or anything on the platter that isn't to your liking, we'll have something else brought to you. Okay? Excellent. How's the tea? Let me. Excellent. Now, I will leave you for a little bit with your neck massager, your blanket, your tea, and your food. Okay. Now, if you, in a little while, would like me to come back and provide the dining menu, If you'd also like me uh, to make a drink for you or, or anything like that, you let me know, okay? Of course, I'll come back in a couple of hours and I'll tell you what, I'll bring you uh, some of our freshly made chocolates. I was talking with one of our chefs, our, our sous chefs this morning, uh, and she's quite proud of these chocolates, hand-decorated obviously handmade, full of vibrancy, I think was her exact words. So I'll come back and, and maybe make you one of my world famous whiskey coffee cocktails, supplemented by some chocolates. And we'll take your dinner order, of course. Excellent. Relax. Relax. And enjoy. Hello again. How are you doing? I must say, the cabin smells beautiful. That tea, it's still lingering in the air. Of course. Would you like another cup just now? No? Oh, okay. Okay. So, I promised you some chocolates. And I also promised to make you a drink. And we'll also take... How are you finding your time in the King's Corridor so far? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's always wonderful to hear. We quite literally live to serve. Okay. Well, let me present our choice. To you first. Now these are actually 
intentionally made specifically for each of our cabin suites. And you'll notice the little nodule here. That is a very, very rare and playful little dessert she's attached. I'm not going to ruin it. And I'd like for you to wait for me to be out of the room actually because it's something that I get quite excited about. But I think it's something that you're really going to replay in your mind over and over. The taste sensation in that little bowl, I won't ruin it. What I have done is under the tray of chocolates themselves, there's a little card detailing the ingredients and what the overall flavor profile is. Ordinarily, I would talk you through all of these, but Chef's instruction is that you're not allowed to know what they are until after you've eaten them. Again, she assures me that that isn't anything scary, that there's nothing um, that you wouldn't normally try in there. It's not about that. It's about decoupling the mind's expectation. What it actually receives. What I will say is that the two star cups with the milk chocolate in the center, if you saw them, they're my favorites and you're going to love them. Absolutely guaranteed. Okay, so I'd like to make you a quick drink. And this is my world-renowned non-alcoholic whiskey coffee blend. Now it can be made with alcoholic whiskey but for whatever reason from experimentation this is best served with a very particular west coast blend this is Glen Torres. Torres. and it is a alcohol free whiskey and you may wonder what is the purpose of an alcohol free whiskey Believe it or not, some people like the flavor of whiskey but don't really want to, to drink, to get drunk, or perhaps they're driving. But the reason I use this isn't because it doesn't contain alcohol for whatever purpose. It just seems to blend wonderfully with the ingredients that we use. And this is a cocktail. I'll be mixing a little bit. So I have my little mixer here. And this is quite a, quite an assortment of ingredients. Now there is actually an alcohol, an optional alcohol that I add to this blend. And it's a little cap of Bailey's. Would you like me to include it in the cocktail? Of course you would. Excellent. Okay. So. We'll start by preparing two shots of the West Coast blend. generous portions, I might add. Now, even if you're not a coffee fan, or a whiskey fan, or a Bailey's fan, you're going to love this. Next, next we're going to add This will serve as the body 
of our cup. We add our bellies. Currently, you might be thinking, well, this is very rich. And you'll be right to think that. Too much sugar, too sweet. And then we add an extra special ingredient. In this little paper bag, we have some handpicked. of about 1,700 to 2,000 meters. And I can tell you, this is actually roasted and packed in Dubai from our partners at Common Grounds. The coffee smell is amazing. Now what I'll be doing here is taking five, five coffee beans, adding it to our mixture. And then I'll be crushing them. And these are heavily roasted. So they're very brittle and they almost dissolve into our mixture. Now to review our content. Two shots of non-alcoholic West Coast blend whiskey. rich experience you shake it up gentle shake and all we're doing here Straining out the coffee grounds. We'll pour over a strainer. Mm. That. That is beautiful. Even if you're not a coffee fan, I'd like you to give it a try. And tell me what you think. And if, before you try one, if you pop in the little heart-shaped chocolate first. Chew it up, swallow, and then take a sip. Do this uh, 
with the majority of our King Suite clients. And everyone looks at me with great reservation. And they try it in conjunction with the hard chocolate. And those two hard chocolates are a cornerstone of the chocolates offering. They're in every pack for every King Suite. It's one of the few that doesn't rotate out based on our feedback form, or rather a pre-boarding form that you fill out with some of your likes and dislikes. Because it's a very general flavor. I wasn't allowed to talk about it, but it resonates very well with the coffee and whiskey liqueur that we prepared for you. <laughs> Wonderful. Now, before I leave you, I should also remind you, if you haven't noticed already, your bathroom will be apportioned with Elmas only products. If you need anything refilling, or if Elmas isn't your choice, you would prefer, um, you prefer uh, Hermes, we also have it on offer. Okay? Now I'll come again uh, a little bit later, after the evening meal, and we'll talk about pillow styles, because Having the right pillow is essential. Having one that's tailored for you, it's customized, and allows the ultimate sleep. All right. Now, okay. Now I noticed on your form you did. You asked if I could read out. Our menus and as someone who also enjoys and finds voice quite relaxing it's my pleasure to read you this evening's offerings now would you like me to include say this is not an exhaustive list. We can make whatever you like. I can make whatever you like. But if you're joining the dining cart, this is what's more readily available if you're having your food brought to the cabin. And why wouldn't you? Then uh, again, this may
cheddar, Leicester, tomato chili relish, roast beef with gherkin sandwiches, salted spinach and chickpeas with hummus, and a variety of fresh seasonal fruit. The mini pastries on offer, and again, because you're in a suite, you have access to anything you like at any point. Uh, the other guests, at least some of them, uh, are off board and only eat at uh, breakfast and dinner, for example. I'll list you the, uh, the sweets on offer. Mince pies. That's a British delicacy. Uh, pistachio carapaggi. A date. Pistachio Bagual Chocolate Truffle and Orange Tart Salted Caramel Chocolate Cake Cranberry Coconut White Chocolate Truffles And curiously Gingerbread Man <laughs> Now that's in the dining cart for this evening Again, I'll leave the menu with you If you would simply like serving. No problem at all. Our menu is just uh, an option, a guideline, if you will. Yes, I'll leave it with you. When you are ready to place your order, you give me a call, okay? You can actually forward it in direct if you need, or if you prefer, 